Hello and welcome to 21st session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. This is the last session of part one of this course. In this part, we have covered lots of issues such as history and philosophy of the code, factor of safety, piping documents, code a standard and a specification, design pressure and temperature, low temperature requirements and impact testing, pressure design of a straight pipe, fitting, miter bend, branch connection, and flange and blank. In part 2, we will cover fluid service requirements for piping components and joints, fabrication, assembly, erection, inspection, examination, and testing. In today's session, with an example, we will determine the class of flange and blank. Let's assume that we want to determine the class of flange which will be welded to the pipe that we selected the thickness of it in episode 13. However, let's talk a little about the material. Actually, the material of components which are assembled together must be compatible in order to maintain the integrity of mechanical and chemical properties of the piping system. The material of the pipe that we have already selected the thickness for it was ASTM A335 grade P11, a standard specification for seamless ferritic alloy steel pipe for high temperature service. The equivalent forged material to this pipe is ASTM A182 grade F11, which is the standard specification for forged or rolled alloy steel pipe flanges, forged fittings and valves and parts for high temperature service. This material selection will be covered in a separate course. Going back to determining the class of flange with following conditions. Material ASTM A182 grade F11 class 2. Design pressure 1380 PSI or 95.15 bar gauge. Design temperature 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius. As a first step, we should specify the material group which covers ASTM A182 grade F11 class 2. This material belongs to the material group 1.9 and table 21.9 for pressure temperature rating. In the second step, the design temperature should be reviewed in the temperature column in order to find the design pressure in the related temperature row. In this example, we may not find the exact temperature in the temperature column. In this case, we can select the upper nearest temperature to be in the safe side, but it may result to higher class that cause considerable cost to the project because based on ASME B16.5 for intermediate temperatures, linear interpolation is permitted. In the continuation of this episode, we will look at an example in this case. In this table, design temperature equals 260 degrees Celsius, locates between 250 and 300 degrees Celsius. By linear interpolation, I have calculated corresponded pressure for the temperature 260 degrees Celsius. I use Excel for this interpolation that you can find it in our website. In the third step, we should find our design pressure among interpolated pressures shown in red color. The design pressure of our example locates between the pressure 91 and 136 bar that are related to class 600 and 900. The highest one determines the class of flange. So the class of flange of our example is 900. In our example, if we didn't use interpolation and selected 300 degrees Celsius row to determine the class, the result would be the same. Let's assume that design pressure of our example is 90 bar. In this case, Linear interpolation will lead to class 600, while rounded up the temperature to 300 degrees Celsius will lead to class 900. 
Therefore, I highly recommend to use linear interpolation for optimum design of flange. The same instruction has been already used for determining the class of valve based on the standard ASME B16.34 specified for valves, flange, threaded, and welding end in Table 326.1 of ASME B31.3. In this standard, materials categorized in group numbers and the class of valve will be determined by referring to the related rating table of its group number. Now, let's discuss methods for categorizing PMS or piping material specification into different classes. All components which have been grouped in a PMS class for example, class AN02 have three attributes in common. They are made from the same material, for example, carbon steel. They have the same design pressure and temperature which led to the class rating of flange in this class. For example, 150. They have the same corrosion allowance, 1 mm in this example. Any changes in the mentioned common attributes will result to another PMS class. Please note that each class may contain different services that have all three mentioned attributes in common. To sum up, we can discuss two different methods used for pressure design of piping components. First, valve thickness calculation. In this method, by using the code formula, we select the thickness of a component. Second, determination of class or rating of a component referring to the related standard specified by the code. These two methods are compatible with each other to sustain the design pressure and temperature of piping system. Please note that when we want to order a flange, we should specify the thickness of pipe in addition to other attributes. In this way, the end of flange and pipe has the same thickness for butt welding. If the flange is socket welding, Specifying the thickness of pipe will determine the parameter B of flange shown in dimensional tables of ASME B16.5. You may have heard that the class of a line is 600 or 600 pound. It may be confused with a pipe's pressure design, but it means that the class of the flange in this line is 600. For a pipe, we use a thickness or a schedule. Same as other components, for pressure design of blanks, we refer to the listed components, referring to table 326.1 of ASME B31.3, components standard. We should use ASME B16.48 as a standard for determining the class of steel line blanks based on paragraph 2 of ASME B16.48 pressure temperature ratings pressure classes line blanks covered by this standard are for the following pressure classes 150 300 600 900 1500 and 2500 as listed in ASME B16.5 pressure temperature ratings 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 are the maximum allowable working gauge pressure at the temperature shown in Table 2 and F2 of ASME B16.5 for appropriate material and pressure class. Therefore, the class of blank is the same as the flange. You can find the dimension of blanks per class in this standard. These dimensions will be used for modeling of piping components in 3D modeling software such as E3D and PDMS. I hope you find part 1 of this course beneficial. Thanks for being with us.